I won't lie, it was tough at first. There were some reservations about the league in the beginning. And I have to admit that I was one and quite a few other people had some cautious feelings, including our athletic directors. But um, after sitting down with uh, the superintendent Fernandez, John Fernandez, and deputy superintendent uh, Joe Sanchez, I was given clear and simple instructions, which was pretty much make the league run and uh, give enough games for teams to play. And uh, another one would be, obviously, always be available for the private schools and the data to participate. So all of that had to come together. We had to have all the 80s put together our constitution finally and, and uh, revisit some of the rules that we've been uh, using and make some changes. But uh, uh, it was uh, months of work and uh, I'm really happy with the product. And yeah, it's, it was really a lot of teamwork uh, put behind that. So I'm very happy about that. There has been some early success. And what has the feedback been with the student athletes? They're, they're enjoying it. Uh, they do, they're a little uh, bothered about the participation with the spectators. You know, uh, early on, there was no spectators at all, but we really, we navigated that very well. We uh, put in our guidelines with BPHSS, and one of our guidelines was to allow at least two parents per family into the gym to give two options for televising the games so that parents who aren't there get to watch. How happy are you to see uh, the students just back in action and leaving the program in good hands. Well, you know, we got one league done, right, before the pandemic happened, and that was pretty successful. And then we had another, we were all set to get our second league done, and then the pandemic hit. So our second league actually is the one that's just completing, or just completed, that's our block one. It was a huge success as we got over the pandemic. I, I believe that was one of our shining light that showed that we are an organization that can handle these kind of issues uh, uh, successfully. Uh, the board is behind us. They're watch they were watching our every move, making sure that we we're following guidelines. Uh, we had to turn in reports uh, to show uh, that we were making sure that, you know, everything was in check. Uh, and now, leaving it in good hands, uh, we have a third league coming up. It's our biggest. Uh, as you know already, we have so many sports going on. We have baseball track and field, boys and girls basketball, boys and girls soccer, and paddling. Right now. And some of the IAG teams are, are joining our leagues for that too. The Eastern League has had amazing athletic directors. And they know exactly what they're doing. They've been doing it for years. And my incoming <laughs> acting league director, I'm trying to, yeah, you know, he, he doesn't want to take the job full time, <laughs> is Marvin Linder from Southern High. And he's being assisted by another uh, experience athletic director and Marty Boud uh, Boudreaux from GW. And those guys, they, they know they know what they're doing. Uh, downtown, we actually have uh, uh, Kevin Tidegree here in downtown who's handling a lot, uh, some of the paperwork too. So it's a, again, from the beginning, it's always been a teamwork. And, uh, and Deputy Sanchez uh, at our last meeting yesterday uh, stressed that it's going to be teamwork again that's going to get this through.